Okay, we are here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We are here. Now, hello there. Hello there. Hello there, bro. You're probably wondering what happened to the burning bird. Well, I was so impressed. Ooh. I was so impressed by Bernie Sanders' new video on Social Security that I decided to uh, lay off of Bernie Sanders and, and not pick on him. And uh, the Bernie Bird was a way of picking on Bernie Sanders, so I left the Bernie Bird home to roost. Hold on. Fucking furnace. So, so anyway, I left the Bernie Bird I have to raise my volume now. I, have to, I left them home because I was so damn impressed by that fantastic, decent length, not a short video, a nice one, video on Social Security, why it's not broke, it's far from being broke, it's good for another 19 years. Um, and uh, incidentally, Republican scumbags, uh, Paul Ryan and ugly, uh, jowly turtle effaced Mitch McConnell, bitch McConnell. Social Security is not yours to steal to begin with. It was paid for. You know, they want to slash it 50%. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, with all the real important serious problems facing the United States. I mean real serious problems. Aside from Donald Trump's appointees or being a bunch of ultra right-wing corporatist fascists. Aside from that. And guess who just got picked for Secretary of State? Uh, um, um, oh, uh, Mad Dog? Rex Tillerson. I don't know. CEO this. of Exxon Mobil. So, the man who wants to be the president for all the people, Donald Trump, all the people, all the people, not yeah. just some of the people, is picking all wealthy top 20% or top 1%, whatever you want to call them, all. Uh, 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 CEOs and, and uh, right-wing individuals mm -hmm. and um, he's picking everyone for his cabinet and including evangelical religious nuts mm -hmm. everyone in his cabinet seems to be a, a far right-wing uh, uh, corporate fascist an oligarch um, well, they all favor business over people. That's the big profits thing. over people and yeah. the planet. That's they all have that in common. Right. So the man that wants to be the president for all the people right. is picking uh, those that are not going to work for the people. Correct. Therefore, how can Donald Trump? Uh, honestly work for the people we the people you if his cabinet is far right-wing corporatists and 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 religious lunatics yeah. you know right-wing evangelical nuts yeah. that, that cannot prove their religion and their God exists um, interesting how um, his campaign promises are turning into lies. I also heard he kind of uh, on Twitter or online beat up on this young girl who challenged him about women's rights. She's a former, uh, and she's a former, I think, Jeb Bush supporter, which I'm very disappointed that a millennial would do anything to help a Republican. Shame on you. She must be a rich girl. Anyway, she challenged Donald Trump about an issue concerning women's rights, and uh, he went on a, on a tirade and and, and picked on him, uh, picked on her. Also, what happened was, I mean, I don't know how true this is, but uh, he, um, Donald Trump, I think, had words with a union leader. Yes. And uh, and all of a sudden, the union leader started getting threatening phone calls. Yes. 
All right, you heard about that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Little Chiseler's Hall of Shame. I told a friend of mine that uh, expect the sales of liquor to skyrocket since uh, Donald Trump uh, was elected and 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 all the um, the people he appointed to his cabinet expect expect that to stimulate liquor sales tremendously. What else can you do, man? <laughs> you did it. You did it. You 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 Americans did it. You. You inbred uh, 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 redneck teabaggers did it. You shot yourself in both feet. Yeah. You got your right wing Republicans in office. I mean, Bernie Sanders could say all he wants about Donald Trump touching a nerve with uh, angry, frustrated people. Well, you you don't you don't continue to elect those that have not worked for you in the past, do not work for you today, and will not work for you in the future. Because I, you're not draining the swamp, as Mr. Uh, Trump, he said he was going to do. Well, I'm with, get, with uh, 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 Congress and the Senate. Yeah, and I'm the getting Congress. to that. Maybe, maybe his swamp, uh, maybe Donald Trump's swamp, uh, doesn't mean get rid of the bad guys and and put in the good guys. Maybe he wants to get rid of the good guys and uh, put in fascism, corporate well, oligarch control. He wants to get rid of people like the head of the EPA. If the EPA is working in the benefit of the people, they don't like that. Businessmen don't like that. You see it with the pipeline. Well, and the climate, and, and he's embracing climate change deniers now. Only because he has to. That's all. He really he has to. But he didn't he use his own money for his campaign. He, uh, I don't think Donald Trump owes anybody any favors, does he? Donald Trump? Yeah. Absolutely he does. You mean the people that voted for him? Every right? businessman owes someone else something. You know what the Bible says. Yeah. Oh. They're not innocent. And what about the... Um, all the conflicts of interest. Uh, yes. That's another thing. Well, that's now, it. Now, the Bible, um, I was too lazy to write them down, but there is a verse that Phew. said, He who uh, makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent. That's right. And uh, as a nail sticketh between two stones, so does sin stick to buying and selling. And there are many other. Uh, what did Jesus throw out of the synagogue? Yeah, there are many... The money changes. The, the money changes. Uh, yeah, they are sellers of doves and all that kind of shit to, uh, to burn up. There are many burn other... Up. There are many other verses supporting the poor uh, against the rich or, or just commanding that the rich help the poor. Now, I know the Bible's full of them. But, of course, Republicans want to throw out the New Testament altogether and just keep the the part of the Old Testament where you torture people and kill them yeah. and stone them to death. They like that part. But the New Testament where Jesus, after Jesus came along and, and, and now you're supposed to um, giveth to the poorest, they don't like that part. Well, the Old Testament has that too. There's no, there's no difference. Yeah, yeah. No, but they, well, alright, so let's just say Republicans and uh, right-wing evangelical cultists like to cherry-pick from the Bible only what they like. Yeah, but the problem is, as the Bible says, where your treasure is, that is where your heart is. And that's the problem with business. Sounds like idolatry to me, love that's of money. That's correct. Love of money. That's where their heart, their love is. And that's why you can't trust them. So the um, the wolf in sheep's clothing might be um, accurately describing both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Yeah, and they aren't sneaking in. They're being invited in now, the wolves, into the chicken houses. <laughs> the fox... With Trump. The fox is now in charge of the hen house. Yeah. The fox, not Fox News, the, the literal fox. Is in charge of the hen house, and you people put them there. 
that. You people put them there. Oh no, you couldn't. You know, you know what was really tough about campaign year 2016 is that the options just weren't there. Now the option. Well, there was an option that was they, Bernie. Well, Bernie was. Yeah, Bernie. Well, why was, didn't those stupid people that you said before, who ended up voting for Trumpy, why didn't they vote for Bernie? Bernie put all of the stuff out there that was going to help them. And yet he got slapped across the face. You didn't really, you, you didn't really hear much about what states would allow you to write Bernie Sanders in. I mean, you know, the problem is, all right, the media arranged it so the American people would not really know Jill Stein and the Green Party. She didn't, she didn't get the, the free publicity that the media gave Donald Trump. Right. He got the most uh, the most coverage of anybody. And he didn't have to pay for it. And he didn't have to pay for it. All he had to do was come out with out outrageous statements. Crazy, crazy statements. So, you didn't hear Jill Stein's name really be mentioned until now. Now, of course, she's news because of the recount. Yeah. She, she's news because of the the, the, the huge recount project that she's on. Now you hear Jill Stein left and right, but not before. So because of the U.S. media not doing their job like they're supposed to as unbiased ah. journalists, unbiased. you only heard about Donald Trump constantly yeah. and Hillary Clinton. You didn't hear about any options. Uh, Bernie Sanders a huge mistake he made that pissed off his uh, Bernie Kratz, uh, Bernie supporters, was that when he endorsed Hillary Clinton. If he didn't endorse Hillary Clinton, and he he made other suggestions, then the, the uh, all the people that went to his rallies wouldn't be so upset because now Bernie Sanders on the internet would tell people, okay. That was plan A. I got screwed. The DNC screwed me. Now it's time for plan B. He didn't do that. He just flat out endorsed Hillary Clinton and joined Elizabeth Warren and the rest of them. Now, uh, so the options weren't there. You know, uh, yes, I blame the U.S. media, but also I blame Bernie Sanders for just, uh, what's the word, uh, capitulating? Uh, uh, and, 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 well, he, I, and, he, he and, didn't do that. He, went, yeah, he was a realist. He did what he had to do. Well, the, 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 realist, the, the realism is the fact that, uh, uh, that massive amounts of people showed up at Bernie Sanders rallies that could have, but per instruction, showed up at Jill Stein's. But they weren't the electors, the big boys and girls. Right. So what that, you're uh, saying, what, had what, in her bag. so what you're saying okay. is, seven hundred. So what you're saying is that you got to um, uh, 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 sell off your integrity and go with the big boys because they they're called the big boys. I don't do that. I'm sorry. No, you, well, you that that's not the issue. The issue is if you want to win in that particular situation. Well, big freaking deal. If you want to win, and, and Hillary had it all stacked up. Oh, great! Yeah, all right. The winner, uh, Hillary well, Clinton. Were. All right. So what do you have? Well, you you still kidding. have capitalism, capitalism. You still have the oligarch. Yeah. You still have to uh, 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 barely get by. So uh, you, uh, you a big turned, deal. You haven't turned the U.S. government into a business, and that's what Trump is doing. Now, I got to salute okay. the Prime Minister Trudeau of, of Canada. <clears throat> uh, from what I understand, this article said that he will start a universal, a basic universal salary for Cana Canadian citizens, mm -hmm. which is uh, generally what they do in uh, socialist countries like Scandinavia, right? Mm -hmm. The basic universal salary, along with the single payer health care system. So, you know, I'm waiting for Canada to make the announcement that hemp is 100% legal in all its forms and just start planting tons and tons of hemp 
all over Canada. Then I would be really ecstatic. But I want to salute Prime Minister Trudeau anyway and dedicate this show to him. Little Chisels Hall of Shame. The titanium ceramic supposedly non-stick Gotham steel pen as of today I have to always use oil in order to use it so I'm back to the original crappy pans that I had before the infomercial lied. You have a money back guarantee. And I had it too long. No, I don't think there was a, a day on it. I'll check QVC. No, I already okay. left my reviews. I'll check QVC on the the thing. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, I'm going to have to get. I'm going to have to find a box. Lifetime guarantee. I think so. I'm going to have to find a box. Well, you know, um, you're right. There's there's no damage to the pan. Because QVC you, may have sold it, and have nothing to do it, with it, it, because it wasn't carelessly. The warranty comes from the company. It wasn't carelessly used. It was. It, it, it was never damaged. It just failed to perform as the advertisements advertisements stated. Well, then, so now what I got to do is I got to check on that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I have to uh, go out and buy the old-fashioned uh, cast iron uh, jumbo skillet. And just forget about infomercials, you know. But shame on you, Gotham Steel Pan, the company that makes it, and the douchebag that does. Well, there's two douchebags yeah, so far that do people. the infomercial on the Gotham Steel Pan. Shame on you, Chisler's Hall of Shame inductees for this week. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to say this one more time, and one, the, and one, not one. that not that anybody anybody uh, criticized me uh, lately but I'm going to say this one last time you people out there this is not meant to be a state-of-the-art high-tech studio like the Young Turks have with which uh, chubby sink okay this is very low budget uh, uh, grassroots revolution uh, environment for doing this progressive talk show. That's it. Content, content, content. It, it should be about content. That's it. And, and and the personalities that you you have before you. That's all. If you're gonna if you're gonna nitpick there's plenty of shows out there with um, expensive studios and, and all kinds and of no content. and all kinds of fancy stuff in the background yeah. happening, you know. Yeah, and, look at Fox News. You know, I mean, uh, okay, uh, and no content. Well, you got the content. You have content where you're learning something, and you have content where you may or you may or may not like the personality that's at, you know talking to you. But you should be educated at the end of the show. If you're not learning anything, by by time the show is over, aside from entertainment. Then what good is a a, uh, a a serious talk show if you're not walking away uh, learning yeah. anything? And, and we're very informative here. Believe me. If you me. don't like it, turn it off. Yeah. No, but aside from that. Same with porn. You don't like it, turn, turn it off. Turn it off. We're 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 not, we're very much against censorship. Um, you will walk away educated with our show. That's all I could tell you. Uh, you notice how I carefully, I don't talk too fast like the other uh, younger or even older, but a lot of them are, 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 um, are relatively young. You know, they're, all these progressive shows on, on the internet are coming out of the woodwork and uh, they all sound like they're... Um, uh, all hyped up on caffeine, like they've been drinking. Yeah, they have to fill those minutes really quick. Espresso <laughs> coffee, espresso coffee. So they're all like, <laughs> like, like a little Yorkshire Terrier or Chihuahua yapping, and they all bubbly. Even Sank does that. He talks fast. <laughs> if, you don't get, if you don't do that, people get bored. People's uh, 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 attention span. Attention span is very. Well, then it doesn't say much. For, it doesn't say much for today's uh, humanoids. Well, that's it? why you should not be listening to criticism. 
You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I think the commercial said like eight seconds. That's about it. But you know what? Fuck you. I'm not gonna do a one minute uh, video. Go fuck yourself. You're gonna you you're gonna get educated. I don't care if you if you get annoyed with what I say or not. You need education. You desperately need a guiding light for the 21st century. And well, you can watch the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, what the hell is it? The guiding light on television. Oh, stupid it's soap opera. Soap opera. Yeah. Oh, that's a guiding light. Or <laughs> guiding light in, <laughs> into stupidity. Uh, but anyway, um, um, let, let me get to the theme of the show. Get to the theme. Uh, this is now. This has to do with fake, so-called quote-unquote fake news. That's Do my first article here. Do Donald Trump is squawking about fake news. Uh. Hillary Clinton now has joined Donald Trump, and she's squawking about fake news. Is uh, uh, are we being bombarded uh, uh, on uh, mainstream media and on the internet with fake news? Is the fake news being cleverly blended in with the truth? One of the one of Her the big one of the big fake news stories is the one about the pedophilia. All right, let me finish. With no, let me finish my statement, my, my monologue. Are we being? Uh, is fake news bombarding us every day uh, in, in in all areas mm. and mixed in with the truth? Mm. Possibly. Possibly. No, it is. Possibly. Yes. In, in a sense, it could be happening. But I think the little birdie on my shoulder, the Bernie bird, tells mm -hmm. me that Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are playing the fake news card because of all the criticism and all the dirt that's been uh, directed towards them. In the case of Hillary Clinton, it, it's Pizzagate. It could be. Uh -huh. It could be a way of of distract distracting Americans and and making them think. Don't believe these terrible things you're you're reading and hearing. It's fake news. And then Donald Trump gets criticized uh, left and right, and he squawks about fake news. Is, 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 is it's this? It's that? It's uh, there are lies about me. Lies about me. If it's ne if it's positive, he he loves it. He eats it up. But if it's criticism, he's gonna play the fake news card, and makes you wonder what truly is fake news and what is just the truth that someone else doesn't want to hear. That right. someone else doesn't want to hear. Is it a raw nerve that is hit? That that now, Bill over here, he loves the Democratic Party, and he has this thing with protecting Democrats and Hillary Clinton because oh she's God. a woman. Because he's shaking his head as I'm talking. Is a woman? Oh, we gotta make history. We gotta. Pro oh, the, you're being a meanie. You're supposed to kiss a woman's ass. We gotta have the first female president. We gotta have the first black president. Oh, remember? Oh, you criticize. You criticize um, a, a black a, a black guy in, in a spotlight. Oh, racism, racism. You know, he's more to the left than I am. I, I'm well, real. For damn sure. I'm realistic. I am realistic. I have no allegiance or loyalty to the two-party system or the Democratic Party. But, He's shaking his head. All right. You know but, what? Let it's but, all yours, brother. I'm but, done. I'm done with my. If I if I had the allegiance to the Democratic Party, why did I vote for Jill Stein? Well, why are you shaking your head when James, the great James because, P. Madonna is talking? Because you're forgetting. What about the fake story that came from that university where the woman claimed the woman was raped? And it was a non-story. It didn't exist. Did they prove it didn't exist? And it didn't have nothing to do with Trump being Hillary. No, this I said beyond. I this said at the that. beginning of my monologue that yes, I agree there is mass hysteria and mass confusion because of fake news. Yes, 
There is fake news out there. Yeah. I didn't deny that there is not fake news. But don't make it just but, but, Trump and her. But they're playing, they also, you know, is it, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's a term, the correct term is sour grapes. In other words, if somebody hears something that they don't want, they don't like because it's criticism, but the criticism is is founded, is based on facts, and it's true. You don't use the word, the popular term, fake news. Now it's in in a spot uh, in in a, in a spotlight. Fake news, fake news. You don't play the fake news card if the criticism is accurate. It could it could also be both. Who's, who's going to make that determination? Trumpy ain't going to do it. You think. The, you think that the uh, the information that is out there that's negative about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton is false? No. But he's going to think that, and he's going to try to convince you of that. Well, look, he, he fights with people on Twitter, and he's the president of the United States. He's not the president. I mean, all right. Well, he, um... He is. He, um... He, he loves to be petted and stroked and told how how wonderful and possibly godlike he really is. How he can get along with yeah, him. Yeah, George Soros looks at himself as a god also. And you know, he's uh, he likes to hear that. As soon as you criticize him, he goes on a tirade. Yeah. And, and, and uh, he has time to go after individuals on Twitter, which, uh, which amazes me. At three o'clock in the morning. For a multi, <laughs> for a multi, multi-billionaire who, who, who won the election this November, you know, he has time, uh, and a guy who had a syndicated, uh, whatever, nationwide or worldwide reality shows and everything, he has time to go after this one girl, this one un relatively unknown female, a young girl, and go after her and pick on her, all right? He has time for that at three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. It, to me, it's a it's like a three ring circus. The United it is States. a three ring circus, but we knew this in the beginning. Yeah, tea baggers, the ones who uh, who love to blame all your problems on immigrants of color. It's always the people of color that are to blame for your problems, and that's why they they went to the rallies and got all violent and upset because Trump. Yeah, he touched the nerve, all right. He brought out the the bigoted and racist feelings that were already there within these people. But who caused those problems? The Race, Republicans. The re oh, because Republicans. Well, so they weren't not mad at their their Republicans, were they? They were mad at the wrong people. Just like Republicans are mad at the poor, and they they wage war against the poor. That's my point. You're a, you're a billion, you're a multi-billionaire. You're you're a crooked politician that stuffs your pockets. Why should you care if a poor person buys cold cut seafood and steak with their food stamps? Why should that bother you? If social services is only like two percent of the total budget, why is it is it such a big friggin' deal what a poor person buys with their food stamps? Because they, if if they would not do that and point you to that, they wouldn't be getting allowed to get their tax cuts. Because they're the biggest moochers. Tax cuts. Yes. They're the biggest oh, moochers. Oh, lucky dude! Did you just learn this about the rich? So they're doing the looketh over there. They they're doing a big distraction on on on, the, on everyone. They're they're the ones that are the real freeloaders, That's not correct. the poor. That is correct. See, and they want, they want, they have been trying and trying and trying for decades and decades to bring back the Gilded Age. Oh, you mean when if, if you didn't have money, you died? That's correct. And business was the king. Uh, well, and they could do anything they want. Bring out the National Guard to kill you if you, if know, you struck. If you know, if you knew, if you knew your history, the people of. Um, the Industrial Revolution were absolute vile scumbags, and somebody I knew was get somebody I know who uh, was a college professor in in merry old England was bragging about how wonderful the Industrial Revolution is, how it took those um, 
those humble uh, 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 um, farms, uh, uh, family-owned farms, uh -huh. and, and they got an opportunity to make money, make money, make money. The Brought people, the, the, the people that own the companies made the money. Uh -huh. Not the, not the, sh the, the. the the schmucks that left the family farm to live in the city mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they didn't make the money the, the business owners of course if you're greedy you're gonna love the Industrial Revolution uh -huh. which started in Manchester England uh -huh. now before I turn it all over to you I just want to say that the reason why I talk s slow and precisely like Jesse Ventura does and incidentally he don't read from a script he likes to talk from the heart you know, ad lib and I agree with him. I want everyone to be able to understand what I'm saying, even the the even the lowest simpleton, the 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 the, the uh, numbskulls of America and the world. I want everyone to be able to di uh, hear, understand, and digest what I'm saying. If I'm like 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 the the Young Turks. How the hell you? What are you gonna learn walking away from that? What are you gonna learn? Nothing. Nothing. All right, go ahead. Lower the hole. Oh, hold on. Good luck, Seven Bells, for the show. Fake news. There you go. It is not innocuous. It is downright dangerous. On Sunday, a man armed with an assault-style rifle walked into a pizza shop in Washington, D.C. He allegedly wanted to self-investigate a conspiracy theory relating to Hillary Clinton and a child sex ring. Is he qualified to investigate? Yes, he had a such a case. He had a rifle in his hand. Yeah. Well, that anything. qualifies you. Well, it, uh, um, yeah, but then you know, then you have to gather evidence. You can't. You can't they just. They don't have time to gather evidence. Dictators never had time to gather evidence. So he wanted to see. He wanted to see that sh this was going on secretly he, he wanted to see it and then I guess he wanted to shoot the people involved the story was completely fake it was fake yeah but the assault weapon was real huh the story was fake but the assault weapon was real then how the assault the weapon did it levitate and go in in the in that building the by itself. The story about the sex ring, the pedophilia, Hillary Clinton, the story was fake. Full of shit. The guy comes with a gun. No, no, the story's not fake. The it story's not fake. fake. You'll do anything to protect the woman that's running for president. Who's no, no, it ain't president? fake. It ain't fake. It's fake. It ain't fake. Tell, tell Evelyn Pringle it's fake. She knows, she proved the, uh, the, a lot of things. It's there is real. So much fake news. It's real. Oh, on the internet. Ever forbid, ever forbid, ever forbid a woman or Why minority of the Democratic Party should ever, ever be attacked and criticized. You know, and that includes the Jew uh, uh, Wasserman Schultz, uh, Schultz that left the DNC. We got to protect them. We got to protect them. Why? Political correctness, Ooh, but Why? that's not me. That's may maybe other people. But that has nothing to do with these stories. Fake my ass. <laughs> Why do you think we? You have don't believe the of the international pedophile ring exists. No. You don't. But you don't believe the secret societies control no. the world. You don't believe the the, no. the Zionists run the banks, no. the big banks. You no. don't believe the Rothschilds. No. You don't believe no. the George Soros. George Soros is a uh, investor. You I don't believe, believe in the secret societies and the big banks running no. the world. No. You don't believe it. You don't believe a handful of these people of the oligarchs. You don't believe it. All right. No. Well, that's your choice. Not for that reason. That's your choice. 
You're a big boy. You can believe whatever you want. Exactly. Right. That's why we have Snopes and all the other uh, fact checkers. Yeah, Snopes that always puts down nutritional supplementation. Oh yeah, I really, I really put my faith in Snopes. Yeah, I didn't say put faith in it. It's only one place you go to check something. You, you don't, don't believe. Do you don't believe that all these missing uh, girls that are missing and end up on the side of a milk car, and you don't believe that that they could possibly be kidnapped for for a sex ring, for a uh, pedophile sex ring. Absolutely. But what does that have to do with Hillary Clinton? <laughs> gotta protect that brother that ran for president. We gotta be over the Clinton dynasty, but political correctness. When? The lesbians, the gays that love her. God, oh, we got to bet. That's him. I'm not PC. I'm not, I mean. That's not PC. You are jumping the gun. Just you, like this guy You know guy how many did. articles about. Just P like you, this guy did. You know how many did. articles about Pizzagate? Just like this guy did with a weapon. Oh, God. He jumped the gun. He didn't check out his facts. <sighs> Or et cetera. Well, there, are, there, are other sources, there are other sources that discuss Pizzagate. Many other sources. Not just yeah, but there. they were discussing fake news. No, it, <laughs> it ain't fake. What do you think Fox News does every day? It ain't fake. It ain't fake. I believe the establishment is that sleazy. But that's only me. That did not come from the establishment. It's conspiracy theories. That comes from your, you know, your uh, people on the uh, edges of society. Well, I, I think Alex Jones's Infowars says a lot of truth too. He he might be a, lib a right wing libertarian, but so what? A stop clock is right twice a day. Big deal. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you gotta yeah. do more yeah, fact go. checking you before you, you, you know. You believe that uh, all this hunky dory shit with the. No, America. they do. What do you think they come at? What, what, what are they coming from? They're the patriots. They're the protectors of the United States of America, etc. Well, there was an article. There was an article that that was bashing WikiLeaks and Julius Julian Assange, saying that he works for the Rothschilds, and it was all set up. Well, by who gave the who gave those? Uh, well, he did help Donald Trump. He didn't help Bernie Sanders. Who gave WikiLeaks those last emails from Podesta and etc.? Who gave them to him? Does he? Did they have hackers and informants? The Russians. No. The Russians Vlad gave that information. They hacked us. Vladimir hacked Putin. Us. Vladimir Putin cares about his people. So. Comey kept his mouth shut. He didn't say the Russians did it. Okay. Well, what? All right. Now you got to analyze. Was the uh, intent of the Russians honorable? Was it? Were they doing the right thing for the American people, like Edward Snowden did? I'd say there's a good possibility. Yes. I only care well, about the masses. I don't care about the, your, your oligarchs. Well, that wasn't for the masses. Your, you know, you know, it didn't help the masses. Well, it'd be nice if if it Anonymous and WikiLeaks came out with everything during the primaries when Bernie Sanders was in it. That would have been appropriate for them. Yeah, but they didn't. But they, they didn't. didn't. They waited the and they helped Donald Trump seal the deal because they had a way to get it from the Russians. From their end. Uh, yeah, but because you believe Barack Obama, well, when he was blaming the Russians and Vladimir Putin was getting all pissed now, off because he's the black man in the White House. That's why you believe it him. It is now proven. That it, it was, was not proven at the time. He only conjectured it. It is now proven. You sure it was proven? Who behind. said it was proven? Who said it's it was proven? It's on the news right now. You believe that? The mainstream it's, media? It's on many, many the, them, not of one. Of course, they don't want. They don't like anything the Russians do. Well, because you're talking about a bunch of corporatists. Hey, buddy, either all. you like capitalism or you don't. Don't. What don't, does capitalism? Don't have to give do? me this shit. Hey. We have private meetings sometimes during the week. Sometimes, and he's telling me he oh he oh uh, uh, democratic socialism is really the most fair system. Scandinavia, brother, and then he changes his mind and he sides with with I the mainstream. Said, wait a minute, I never said that. 
Are you trying to fuck with me? You and her Just make you and worry. her you and her plan Calm get down. together. And, and I have said that God's system is the best. Then why are you defending the woman? Why are you putting that shit here? Well, why are you why are you why are you giving them credibility? The uh, uh, Barack because Obama and Red Hillary it, Clinton. They have to get it. You have to be honest. How do you know? In how, your goddamn how, criticism. How do you know? How do you know who the real good guys and bad Sometimes guys really are? Sometimes you don't. How do you know? But keep your mouth shut then, and do further in, uh, investigation. But there are people out there that have. Have what? Investigated it all. And what does what I was talking about have to do with democratic socialism? You're blaming uh, the Russians and you say That's it in espionage. a way... We were hacked. That's espionage. Not if you hack corp uh, evil, greedy corporations. It's not espionage. Well, if you do it and you give it to Trump, it is. Well, if you help Trump, you're helping he the you're helping the oligarch. If you're helping... The point is, you can't shoot your mouth off at stuff. If you're going to be a professional journalist, you have to investigate. How long did it take, whatchamacallit, uh, what, uh, the, the two uh, journalists to investigate Watergate? Did they do it right away and come up with these answers? No! It took a long time to take one fact and put it together with others and others. Well, well this, uh, these other issues uh, were being investigated. Pizzagate and... Um, no, they weren't. They were just blasted. And supported by the right wing. Who do you think put this fake news up there, that shit? Even Zuckerberg is now going to investigate and find out how they're doing it. With his why, why must why must people of your generation baby boomers right There's nothing to why I'm not a baby boomer well yeah you, the Vietnam I War. am not a Six, ba baby boomer you're your 60s child 1944 why must you protect the Democratic Party why must I'm we? not I voted for Jill Stein Voted for Jill Stein, but but but, but is she a Democrat? But you sure are. Um, no, you are putting you, labels. You sure want to protect the Clintons and Barack Obama's legacy. You are putting labels on things. Yeah, That's what the problem is. Yeah, to make it clearer for your th thinking, that doesn't do it. You gotta protect. There's them. more work that has to be done behind the scenes to find out the truth. The truth is not given out there on the internet and given out there at Fox News. And MSNBC and etc. Do you think I like a system where where you still, if 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 you vote, if the Democrat gets elected, you still have the uh, the uh, capitalist oligarch? You think I like that? No, but what does that have to do with what I was talking about? Because you're you're you you. I'm talking about fake news. You're like your face when you said that Russians. That hey. is, that is espionage. That has nothing to do with capitalism. Oh yeah, well now you got this. Uh, you got the these lovelies that Donald Trump picked, Mad Dog, and all that. You know, I, I just talk, just do your readings. Thank you. Do your readings. Thank you. Do your readings. According to the Washington Post, one or more shots were fired by Edgar Madison Welch, a 28-year-old man from Salisbury, North Carolina. No one was injured. But the immediate area went on lockdown, all because of fake internet and social media stories about Pizzagate. Welch was believed to be looking for hidden underground tunnels inside the store. Maybe there was. There is. It's we didn't find any! Claims that Clinton and her campaign chief were running a child sex ring inside Comet Ping Pong. The DC pizza joint were entirely bogus. But once these lies were given life in the digital Petri dish that has become America, 
There has been no stopping the story, or others equally bizarre. As the Washington Post reported on Monday, retired General Michael Flynn, who is advising President-elect Donald Trump on national security, shared another anti-Clinton fake news story. Oh, fuck them. That one involved pedophilia. The digital age is proving much like the dawn of the atomic age, a blessing and a curse. The technology that allows individuals anywhere in the world to reach potentially millions of strangers is an extraordinary achievement. The Arab Spring Movement was fueled by social media. But the dangers of instant, widespread communication are obvious. When individuals use technology to spew falsehoods, to gain a political advantage, the collateral damage is wide and indiscriminate. <coughs> James Alephantis, the owner of Comet Ping Pong, told the Washington Post, what happened today demonstrates that promoting false and reckless conspiracy theories comes with consequences. During the nasty 2016 presidential campaign, that was also very obvious. <clears throat> then, Republican candidate Trump suggested that U.S. Senator Ted Cruz's father was somehow tied into the assassination of John F. Kennedy. I read articles that explained that he wasn't involved in some way. Well, good, you see? One balanced the other, and now it's up to you as the journalist to, to find out the real truth. Well, we all know. But that. if you're getting blasted with the fake news all the time, 24-7, etc., you have no chance to get the balance. I mean, we all know his father's an evangelical religious freak. That doesn't mean he had participated in the, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. No, that, that, you that, can't combine those two issues. Evangelicals are usually, uh, deep down, uh, evil people. But, they, but that doesn't mean that you can. Well, they're not real Christians. No. Well, I don't know. It's, it's uh, what can I tell you, man? What can I tell you? The, tell, the the thing is, you owe your audience to be as accurate as you can be. You also have so to. So you don't go spewing things before their time. You also, yeah, I know. But you have to analyze the source of of your your information and and and. Any, anything, anything from the mainstream that has corporate sponsors, you have to question them also. And sometimes you have to let a story play itself. incubate. Incubate. It's not ripe yet to tell. For the pickets, yeah. Okay. You must keep your mouth shut. Well, uh, the the thing with WikiLeaks was really strange because why why did it take why did the Ecuadorian embassy had a, had to, had to give Julian Assange safe haven and not the Russian embassy and, and now there's articles that come out that came came out that the US CIA has Julian Assange in custody how did he get in custody i thought Putin, they have him in their their crosshairs <laughs> No, That's I, where they have well, where, well, where is, <laughs> where, where if, if, if Vladimir Putin is protecting the great Edward Snowden, then I'm surprised he hasn't sent his boys in to protect Julian Assange. Well, it's, 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 Snowden is not in Russia. He's not? Not that I know of. He's somewhere else. He's not in Russia. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I just... I, uh, I don't know. Well, it seems to me that he's not. Well, he's not, he's not in the uh, oligarch U.S. authorities' hands, that's for sure. Yeah, but, but he left Russia, as far as I know. He left Russia. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Gee, why would he do Eight. that if he had a nice little snug, as a bug, uh, safe refuge? Well, 
Well, maybe he didn't with Putin, you know? And all those big, uh, tall uh, Russian women are over there. No, they're all coming over here. Russian? As, yeah. as, uh... Why the hell would they want to come here? As, uh, brides. Oh, mail order brides. Mail order brides, yes, yes. Why the fuck would any country desperately want to come here where the cost of living is so high and, and the and the salaries are so low? Well, they might believe about the gold streets in America. Yeah, well, I guess those are the same people that vote in America. The people that have this delusion of what the United States really is about. Trump's explanation was that he had heard others say it, never saying he knew it to be true. But the saying of it was all that mattered. A Google search for fake news sites pulled up 10.5 million results. This is becoming an epidemic of sorts because too many readers are not checking where their news is coming from. There is much talk about bias in the mainstream media. While there are opinions on editorial pages, like this particular one, the opinions are marked as such, and they are not made out of whole cloth. There is a difference between an opinion based on facts and a complete fabrication. What happened Sunday is probably just the beginning. In a country where access to weapons is easy, social media are prevalent and divisiveness is on the rise. A bad outcome is inevitable. DC police said Welch was armed with an AR-15 assault style rifle. Style rifle. Not, it's, uh, it's not a, um, I think it's a semi-automatic. Additionally, a handgun and a shotgun were seized. I mean, a real uh, rifle is the, the ones that the military get. Like, if you're going to get an AK-47, you want the ones that go blah, 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 not the ones that shoot one bullet at a time. Well, no, the M16 doesn't do that. They, they can, M16 yeah, does Yeah, if it's, uh, if it's, uh, difference between the actual assault weapon rifle and the one that shoots one bullet at a time. So semi-automatic versus automatic. Matt Carr, the owner of a shop near the targeted pizza store, told the Washington Post his business as well as others have been receiving constant threats. He says this was our first fear worst fear that someone would read all this and come to the block with a gun and today it happened thinking that he's in cahoots with the whole thing the people were lucky Sunday no one was hurt at least this time well that's the problem you know you, uh, people come, uh, go out there half cocked and uh, you know, uh, same thing with Planned Parenthood, you know. People believing that a fertilized egg is, is a real human baby and then and they want, they they uh, commit violent acts towards uh, Planned Parenthood clinics. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's craziness. But then again, the American voter that showed up at Donald Trump's rally is crazy. Yeah. The people that think that um, Hillary Clinton was going to really work for the little guy are crazy also. You know, the person who was going to work for the little guy, the little guy is Bernie Sanders and then Jill Stein. Uh, Jill Stein doesn't have to do what she's doing now. You know, she could, she could uh, stay in Wisconsin wherever she likes, you know, live high in a hog take a nice vacation in the South Pacific you know she doesn't have to go through all this but she's doing it now more news that came out claims that Jill Stein's count recount has revealed massive voter fraud on the part of the Hillary 
Clinton campaign. Now, not in Pennsylvania. Um, was it Michigan? They accused. She's they, in Michigan and Wisconsin, and there is not. I don't think they even counted the Michigan ones yet, and uh, the Wisconsin. Ones. Listen, but in Pennsylvania, yeah, they only found 82 more votes for her. 82. And that wasn't enough. Well, so the now the, Jill Stein is taking that court. The whole United yeah, States anyone. voting system, whether it be for the primaries or the major elections, is very questionable. The whole system sucks. That's correct. The system is uh, in suspicion it, it, and inefficient, too. Uh, and hackable. The, uh, the computer voting is hackable. Yeah, you can't, and and, and you know this. And there should not be voter suppression at all, like requiring uh, a citizen to buy a voter ID. Yeah, there should well. be no gerrymandering. It should be one person, one vote, popular vote. That's it. Period. Well, we know who does that, don't we? Well, the oligarch has that all rigged. Republicans do that in the states. Well, the, the, a, a pro, the pro top one percent people, the right, which to me but, is the right wing. But in the states, because that's who handles voting, the country does not handle voting. Each state handles its voting procedures. And right. Stuff. So when the Republicans win the governorship and the House and the assembly of a state. That's what they do. Right. And they, they all have the, gerrymandering. And they all have the same mindset. Yeah. Republicans. You know, they, they they want to they want the uh, the middle class to vanish because that's what happens when you, your country is run with pure capitalism by Republicans, the middle class shrinks. And uh, thanks to Ronald Reagan the middle class rapidly shrunk, uh, uh, and then the poor, which they don't want to help, die off. And uh, all right, then where do you find your customers? Well, <laughs> that's the, that, they, the, the, they want the power, but they don't wish to govern. That is yeah, their problem. You, know, you saw mean, that uh, with the House for how many years uh, with Barack Obama? Right. I mean, they I'm, didn't do nothing but. What, what, vote 80 times to get rid of Obamacare? Now, how uh, uh, Donald, Tr Donald Trump um, actually what? believes that massive, that more massive tax cuts for the rich will stimulate the economy? That is correct. How is that going to It creates jobs, happen? according to them. Really? It Where? They've been saying that for decades, Where? and people have been believing it. Where? In the United States. Well, you can't prove that, can you? But they, they still sell this fake story. And when it creates jobs, let's just say, uh, magically, that the jobs are created in the United States, which I know is a lie. Let's say uh, the jobs are created here in the United States uh, under Republicans, with no, you know, regulations or labor labor laws. How much uh, do they expect to pay people? Uh, can well, the Trump does not like the minimum wage going well, up. Well, then how how are you going to be so prosperous and winning so much that you're going to say to Donald Trump, "Please, Mr. President Stop, Trump, please. hold back. We're, you, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. Too much winning. Too much winning. Too much prosperity. Trump. How are you going to do that with less than fifteen dollars?" an hour with the cost of living being price gouged. I think the cost of living is also a form of price gouging by corporations because you have utility bills not not going down, right? It's not only a price gouging by the businesses, but the, the government uses the fake, fake CPI to give uh, uh, the uh, Americans, uh, the Social Security raise. We, we, me, I'm on Social Security. Many. We got a big, huge Z. 
0.2% raise this year. You know what that amounts to for the average uh, uh, Social Security recipient? Two dollars. Thank you. He's, he's spellbound, folks. No, I was thinking about uh, what you, you said something that was not good for the show professionally. But no, when you, I, it's not a statement you made that, uh, you know, um, you, you don't say on the air. But I, I, I'll tell you what, when the uh -huh. cameraman uh, goes to lunch. And a change of pace. Tomato pace. Pace, excuse me. Pace, pace, pace. My wife of more than 40 years and I had a mutual parting of the ways five years ago. Uh oh. Though we went our separate ways, we harbor no sorry, searing animosity toward one another, and we regularly talk in civil and polite tones. See, I don't, I don't like this no-fault divorce that we have in New Jersey and no-fault <coughs> auto insurance. I think the, there, there's always somebody at fault, and the person at fault should be punished. Okay, should, Mr. Trump! No, there should be retribution for <laughs> the negative things that a person does that makes it their fault. It should be punished. How else would a person learn their lesson if they're not punished? Ah, uh, there are thousands and tens of thousands of people in jail who never learned their, uh, they did something wrong. In fact, they come out even worse. Well, then they should be bring back flogging with the cat of nine tails. What the hell are good is that going to do? The guy's spending 30 years in jail or Listen, whatever, and he's, he's, he's worse. If you're, if you're a jabroni that causes well, an auto out. accident, why is it an, a, no, a no fault uh, insurance? Why can't the person who causes the accident be hammered severely for what he did? We do that today. Or divorce. But guess what? What if somebody, uh, 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 one person, is the philanderer and uh, and and uh, steals his wife's uh, money and does this and is uh, smacks her around when he gets drunk and blah 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 blah. blah. Hey. He should be punished, not no fault divorce. Well, if you punish him and you put him in jail or something of that nature, guess what? He will never change until he repents. Well, then he has to receive he repents. corporal punishment. Pain. What is that going to do? He's got jail. Pain. To make people learn. Pain. <laughs> anyway, anyway, continue Please. with this. My former wife thought I was going in the wrong direction. Oh, really? But I quickly made an effort to meet a new woman through online dating. Oh, gee. I was successful in that venture. That's nice. My ex joined many different clubs and organizations and eventually fell in with a man whose company she enjoys. I was happy for her. But women I met online told me that this guy continues to occupy a spot in the online dating scene. Uh, why are they spying <coughs> on, this, on his ex? I wonder why. Messaging women about his availability. D oh, that, I hate people who spy like that. What business is it of theirs? It is not my business. But I'd rather not have her contract an STD because of this guy's secret liaison. Tell him to mind his own damn business, him and his girlfriends. I'm um, seriously. My ex's heart is apt to be broken pretty much either way. She eschews online dating, so she's not apt to discover his habits on her own. But I don't want her to die prematurely or to live with an STD she couldn't see coming due to his deceit. It sounds like... Uh Angelina Jolie getting the double mastectomy because she has breast cancer in her family. Hey, this guy is STD, STD. Hey. She had the BRCA gene. Huh? She had the BRCA gene. But that doesn't mean she has breast cancer. Or that she would have gotten it. Right. Well, th it this is guy is, how is, you get it. is, is assuming that uh, his, yes. his ex-wife is going to get an STD. 
he, he's assuming well, it's so much. in a way, he's trying to protect her. Well, he, he's being nosy, you know, she's a big yes. girl. She's a grown woman, you know, and he's being, he's, he's, he's being intrusive, is what I'm trying yes, to say. Well, it should be easy for you to confirm whether this man is active on dating sites, at least the ones you're on, and before saying anything to your ex, you should confirm this. You two were married for 40 years. Hey, his ex could turn around and say, why are you spying on my boyfriend? And, and she can get pissed at that. You genuinely care about your ex's welfare. You also don't know about their relationship or arrangement. Once you confirm this man's online activity, you can say to your ex, I just want you to know that Barry is currently active on online dating sites and has messaged women I know. I don't want to interfere in your relationship, but I thought you would want to know. That's it. Your ex might get mad. Or you. Uh, at you, excuse me. Or take this news well, but what's she going to do? Divorce you? Huh. Interesting. Change of paste. All right, we're going to break for lunch now. And you'll hear promo. Hey. Right. And simply hit the pause button if you see a banner that uh, <laughs> uh, catches uh, your fancy, you know, I mean, that you want to read and learn more about it you can hit always hit the pause button but that's it we'll see you let's say the balance of the show we'll see if it is second half of the show um yeah oh, hey. hey the person who mentions that i'm i get up all the time first of all i don't get up all the time oh my god second of all go fuck yourself yeah whoever it is tells william h morrow the third that why does he get up all the time and ain't it's not professional well you know go fuck yourself whoever you are i don't know who Who's you are speaking of william h morrow somebody because yeah. bill morrow doesn't go online yeah, exactly so somebody who's scrutinizing the show that is uh, anxious to criticize it is telling william morrow that james gets up a lot during the show and it doesn't look right well go fuck yourself well i don't know who you are but even if i know you Go fuck yourself. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 hard-hitting podcasts, holistic health talk, and progressive discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news, fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times, and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977.
newsletter censored. You need newsletter censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, we're back. Whoa. Seven bells for the second half of this show, Progressive Discussions. Do you have your device? Yes. Okay. My spectacles. Are you okay? How was your dessert, by the way? Very good. That was the last of the pumpkin pie. Oh, is that what that was? Yes. The last of the pumpkin pie. Yeah, my sister makes a great pumpkin pie, man. Sugar free. <laughs> I gotta get. I have to, oh, she said she told me I have to get the ingredients. Oh my god. That means I gotta go into a supermarket where there's. The only, the only way I can get all the ingredients is if I go to the supermarket that tends to be a little crowded, and I hate. Yeah. Cr I hate crowds. And uh, it seems to me that they're being uh, crowded uh, a lot these days. More crowded? Might be because of the holidays or something, but I don't know about the mornings, but the afternoons and night times, they're crowded. No, I don't, I don't do crowds, so I don't do crowds. I like shopping online and uh, uh, <clears throat> I go to all these, you know, which has a lot of organic foods and the prices are reasonable and it's, it's not that crowded. Unfortunately, they don't have that many cashiers. And, and there's long lines by the cash register. That's what I'm saying. And you have to bring your own bag, which is no problem because I have my collection of real strong bags in the car. I'm not paying for any all these bags. There's no freaking way. No. I, if only the good die young, Americans are unfortunately getting better. U.S. life expectancy dipped by about a month last year from 2014 to 78.8 years according to a report from the National Center for Health Statistics. Especially the impoverished areas of the United States like West Virginia, Kentucky, Mississippi, you know, where the life expectancy is way down. It's the first decline in more than two decades after years of gains. U.S. life expectancy has been essentially flat for a few years, which means an unauspicious trend could be in the works. The decline could be a blip, but even if it's flat, we have a real problem, said Jonathan Skinner, a professor at the Dartmouth Institute for Health Policy and Clinical Practice. I know heroin addiction made a huge comeback. Skinner noted that the U.S. is spending 18% of GDP on health care. If we're not getting continued improvement in life expectancy, then perhaps we should redirect some of that toward raising workers' take-home pay and improving educational opportunities. Gender matters. For men, life expectancy fell to 76.3 years from 76.5 years. Take home pay from some employer does not work. That's why countries like Canada, Scandinavia have a basic uh, universal salary for all citizens. Yeah. For women, 
life expectancy decreased from 81.2 years down about 0 0.1 year from 2014. This is your average, your average woman, not, not a, um, a woman who works out and uh, eats, uh, takes supplements and uh, organic foods, you know, your average woman, life expectancy. The culprits for our declining years were increases in mortality from heart disease. chronic lower respiratory diseases, unintentional injuries, stroke, Alzheimer's, diabetes, kidney disease, and suicide. Not surprisingly, that group plus cancer and the flu make up the top 10 causes of death in the United States. My major concern is that we know the exact cause of the fall in life expectancy. Mortality is rising across a wide variety of illnesses, Skinner said. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, let me read this one first before I go on to a uh, change of pace. Another change of pace? Oh, yeah. Uh, we got a couple of them here. Uh, we got we to gotta get more, like... Uh, blood There's nothing more than human interest stories. Blood, blood curdling. We got to get more blood curdling. And don't forget, we got, uh, we got the Young Turks, we got all these other people that we got to buck heads with. We, uh, well, you shouldn't be thinking like that. That is competition. Competition is of the devil. You give out what you have, and they give out what they have. People accept either yours or theirs, or both. Simple as that. But competition makes one a winner and one a loser. Well, somebody's got to lose. Why? You think it's like Do that? Do they lose in those Norwegian countries you think, that you talk about? You think it's like that stupid uh, Special Olympics? Uh, no, uh, no, no. We're all winners. <laughs> Just to make the kids feel good about But they're themselves. disabled. No, every, anybody. It could be in school. It could be people, well, kids, you know, that are well, in this. But what if they aren't matched in Wait. that particular... Well, what you gotta are they doing? Fair, you gotta match people. That well, then you do. can't have disabled running against normals, can you? Well, because they'll lose every time. You can't exactly. <laughs> so, so you know, it's not the, uh, it's not the. Uh, what I mean is the. Kumbaya you know, everybody what, here. What I mean is a loser. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 the word lose and losing nowadays has been really demonized. To, uh, like in other words, people should uh, realize it's part of life that if, if one person uh, one person will excel and other people will get less points that that that's just part of life and the person who did not excel that particular time can excel another time unless you're a politician and you have the electoral college and delegates watch, watch the uh, chess championships since the uh, the 80s and you'll see. I mean, the, the the crown changed, you know, so many times. Only only in uh, in golf and dominoes does the person with less uh, win. Yeah. Less points. Yeah. Golf and dominoes. Repealing President Barack Obama's health care law without a replacement risks making nearly 30 million people uninsured. Uh, and that's that, that's besides the people that are still uninsured. Exactly. That Bernie Sanders mentioned. Separately, a professional group representing benefit advisors warned congressional leaders of the risk of significant market disruption that could cause millions of Americans to lose their health insurance. 
Republicans dismiss such dire scenarios, saying that they are working on replacement legislation for a President Donald Trump to sign. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. Nonetheless, the complex two-stage strategy the GOP Congress is contemplating has raised concerns not only among supporters of the law, but also industries like hospitals and insurers. The plan is for Congress to first use a special budget-related procedure to repeal major portions of Obamacare. The effective date of that repeal would be delayed by months or even years to give lawmakers time to write replacement legislation. Shouldn't they have had replacement edu legislation in the pipeline by now? No, they're too busy worried about uh, whether the poor can buy cold cuts and steak with their food stamps. They should have a lot of things uh, in, on the back burner making their way to the front burner. If, you know? they, if indeed that is what they want to do. Because I can tell you right off the top of my head that Republicans do not wish to replace Obamacare the, with anything. In other words, if, you, if, you're, if you're not rolling in dough enough to buy your own health insurance from a private company, then you perish. That is correct. But they don't want to come out and say that. Exactly. So then, so then the, uh, hold on, so then Americans shot themselves in both feet, as always, during the election. They asked for it, they wanted it, they got it. The replacement law would presumably do many of the same things that the, uh, Obamacare does right now, such as subsidizing coverage and protecting people with health problems. But it would not involve as much federal regulation. It would eliminate a highly unpopular requirement that most Americans get health insurance or face fines. The new study from the nonpartisan Urban Institute looks at a scenario where repeal goes through but replace stalls. It predicts heavy collateral damage for people buying individual health insurance independent of government markets like healthcare.gov Though nonpartisan, the Urban Institute generally supports the goal of extending coverage to all Americans. Previously, it had criticized some of the subsidies provided under Obama's law as insufficient. The new analysis warns that repealing major parts of the health law without a clear replacement could upend the health insurance market for people buying their coverage directly outside of the workplace. That group has grown substantially under the health care law, but also includes millions of other customers. The study found that 22.5 million people would lose coverage directly because of a repeal of the law's subsidies, Medicaid expansion, and its individual requirement to carry health insurance. An additional 7.3 million would become uninsured because of the ripple effects of market Upheavals. Capitalism does not work for anyone except the rich. 
period. Because it only works for those who have money. Capital, yeah, if you have money. Capital. Because of course, if you have money, then you, you don't need any help ever from the government. Nope. At, at one time, the only help that was available was from your local church. Good luck with that. Didn't work during the Great Depression. Local church? Didn't work. No. There weren't enough. No, no. There weren't enough. If, how look, how look, could look, it? Look, look at today. How could there be enough? With the, um, the churches. The, uh, what do you call them where you go and you pick up the food? Oh, the uh, uh, food, food, bank, food, food banks, banks. Uh, yeah, food, food pantries. Banks, food pantries, etc. Donated. There's not enough. Meals on There's wheels. There's not enough. They'll, they'll ne they'll, they'll, there never will be enough, especially with the growing poverty. The growing I mean, how poverty. How many turkeys do they give out every Thanksgiving and Christmas? From these places. And, and when politicians, during a holiday, uh, donate their time. Oh, which is, they come down for a photo op. It's just a photo op. How long do you think they really stay there and dish out turkey yeah. and, and stuffing and, and sweet potatoes? Like 20 minutes, 15 minutes? If that long. You just think they're gonna the camera you to think they're, As soon as the cameras get them doing that, That's it. they're out of there. And then everybody goes, oh, he, he, he or she really cares. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Now usually we uh, we read Dear Amy or mm -hmm. Dear Abby. Don't tell me there's a new one. Yeah, Carolyn. Oh no, th 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 does this mean we're gonna have more of these changes of pace? We, we can't, then we'll have to do a different show called Change of Pace. This might be out of a different paper. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Well, if it's if it's a good one, I mean, if it's a good one with societal uh, connections to, to to today's society and to you know current human uh, issues of today, you know, read it. It's talking about sex, so there you go. That's of interest. Of course. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Salt and pepper. All right, go ahead. Should I be worried that my wife and I have had no sex for years? Huh? Yikes. That's all I can say. I am guessing it is at least three years. Yikes. I wonder what the origin of the word yikes is. Not even heavy makeout sessions. Heavy makeout sessions. It just seems that my wife has no interest. Oh, oh, he has interest and she keeps on turning him away? Uh, I guess so. That's not good. They waited this long to seek help? I am afraid to broach the subject for fear of a negative answer. Well, she's supposed to give out the brochure, man, the conjugal duties, the brochure. We don't even sleep in the same bed anymore. Oh, and they're like they're like roommates. I am a big snorer and chose to sleep in the guest room. Well, he won't snore during sex. <laughs> it's fine because she is a light sleeper, and I am happier that she is getting her sleep. She's a light sleeper? She sleeps with the light on? I do use a CPAP, but it does come off sometimes. We're about a clothespin. Oh, that would stop him from breathing. <laughs> well, if you don't breathe, you don't yeah. snore. That's true. You also don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> no sex thing has just happened over time. We have both gained some weight, but we're not obese. We could both lose about 20 or 30 pounds. Oh, they're fat. Uh, nobody wants to see two fat people have sex. Is this normal or should we seek help? Should I be worried that you've waited three years to ask permission to worry? 
be the fat one to their brains. They let three years go by. What's normal in a marriage uh, is less important than what is mutual. If you're worried, then yes, you should be. If you're not worried, then you should not be. By that <laughs> measure, the cause for concern at home is that you and your wife are not talking or touching. What did they used to tell the women during the Victorian era to just lie there and think of England? Something like that? But then they didn't bathe that often either. Talking then. and sex are a fickle combination though. With couples just as often cooled off by it has warmed up. If you tend to be the former, then try this. First, introduce more fun. Physical but not sexual activity. Do your lives together. As it stands now, you're not touching. You're not passionate. You're putting on weight. This is about more than sex. Now it's about losing your connection to your own bodies. Well, they don't care about their bodies. That's why they have 30 pounds of flab. They gotta be more, they should work together to be more attractive to one another by doing physical activities together and changing their eating habits. As they, as they lose weight and get in shape, they'll become more attractive and they, they might rekindle what they once had. Using your body is the best way to wake it up. And not coincidentally, movement is a known emotional conductor. So take her hand and go. Take her hand and, and what, put it by your crutch? If this doesn't heat up your marriage, <laughs> then it's time to talk explicitly. It's time to lose that f ugly flap. Fat bastard, you. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the things that. Do, 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 do. Alright, you talk about sex. Alright, let me check the time. Check the time. Yeah, we, we got two hours and 15 minutes. Check the time. Yeah, we, we got time for one a good one. I mean, a uh, humdinger. Look for a humdinger. Oh. Not, you know, not a change of pace, but a humdinger of a dinger. All right, let's try this guy. Thank you. It stopped for the humding for the last humdinger of the week. Okay. Beautiful. <clears throat> Let's talk about sex. A new yeah. eighty-nine dollar test <clears throat> claims to calculate the age of the DNA in your cells and tell you how well you are aging. Gotta love science, man. Like George Costanza says, gotta love it, can't stop science. The test called Tello Years is the newest in a bunch of mail order kits that measure the length of your telomeres. Wow. The caps that cover the ends of your chromosomes. Oh, I wonder if telomeres can be uh, lengthened. Yes, with resveratrol. Transresveratrol, really? And carnosine. L-carnosine. Yeah. Not carnitine, carnosine. Carnosine. Scene. Yeah. Telomeres are often described as the biological equivalent of the plastic caps at the ends of shoestrings, which prevent threads from fraying. Yeah, or you could... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, excuse me, I believe they are called eaglets, 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 something like that. Made of DNA and protein, 
that telomeres protect chromosomes from damage and from sticking to one another. As we age, our telomeres shorten. That's because every time a cell divides and DNA replicates, a chunk of telomere disappears. Yeah, I'm sure free free radical damage uh, is, is part of that. When the telomeres in a cell become too short, the cell stops dividing and may die. Without the replacement. Companies selling telomere tests say that studies show shortened telomeres are a risk factor for illness. While telomere length can be linked to aging, experts say their discovery is relatively recent and not enough is known to interpret these results. No, of course, not enough is known, not enough is known. Many studies of telomere length were small trials. Some large studies have been done, but most did not show a direct cause and effect link between illness and telomere length. Some genetic diseases, including types of anemia, as well as skin and lung disorders, are caused by a defect in telomerase, the enzyme that makes telomeres, but these are rare and they are inherited. Telomeres made by Silicon Valley based Telomere Diagnostics Inc. works by analyzing a drop of blood that a user mails in from home using the same kind of tool diabetics use to check their blood sugar. Interesting. Something that minute. The length of the user's telomeres is compared with people in other age groups to give their age in tello years. But the length of telomeres varies widely even among people in the same age group. That means these tests can be unreliable indicators of aging. Another telomere test made by Titanova Inc in North Carolina is priced at 150 bucks oh, and uses saliva instead of blood. Mm, well. Short telomeres are markers for the early onset of age related diseases. The Titanova website says the company also shares on verified results on its site saying while it's a bit early to publish any findings in a journal I'd like to disclose some observations and key thoughts that I am starting to believe. The employee goes on to say that people eating plant-based diets have longer telomeres. Hmm, interesting. Vegans? Interesting. Telomere, telomere Diagnostics was an offshoot of an earlier company co-founded by Elizabeth Blackburn, one of three scientists awarded a Nobel Prize in 1999 for the discovery of how telomeres protect chromosomes. Blackburn parted ways with the organization and is not affiliated with telomere diagnostics. Most companies selling telomere tests say they do not diagnose diseases or predict the likelihood of illness. By repeating tests, they say users can see how their telomeres are shortening over time and make lifestyle changes to slow their decline. That could encourage test users to eat a healthier diet, take more exercise, 
But what telomere tests tell us about the lifespan of a cell may not translate to the lifespan of an individual. Most experts say it is too soon to make sense of these results. Yeah, well, it's a start. It's a start. I just want to tell you, uh, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, that Swanson Vitamins now has a 600 milligram grapeseed extract uh, capsule standardized to contain 95% oligomeric proanthocyanidins. And I, I, that's my favorite antioxidant. Well, one of my favorite supplements is grapeseed extract. So now, it, now I'm, I'm take, right now I'm taking the 200 milligram. This one is 600 milligram <coughs> at 95%. So I just wanted to uh, tell everyone that uh, uh, that they can get maximum antioxidant protection, and it's only getting better with time. Uh, it, 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 it's a polyphenol, polyphenol, it's, it's related to the bioflavonoids and it occurs in the pigmentation of food, of different plants, usually deep colored or brightly colored uh, um, plants contain the polyphenols, the richest uh, supply. Now you were telling me resveratrol, which is uh, uh, um, which is found in the skin of deep or brightly colored fruits like grapeseed. Originally it was found in the skin until they discovered that it was cheaper to get it from not weed, well, which is popular in Asia. They used to want you to get it from wine. Well, wine. Wine. Well, but it's in it's in the pigmentation. Right. The from pigmentation the of the skin of yeah. the uh, red grape, or yeah. or one of my favorites, the Concord grape. Uh, unfortunately, the only Concord grape wine out there is sweetened. I don't know why. What about um, Welch's? Welch's grape juice. Yeah. Pasteurized. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. Um. You know, but uh, um, usually the the deeper the color, the deeper the color, uh, the more value. Carotenes are also found in the pigmentation, natural, uh, beta, alpha carotene. There's a whole bunch of carotenes. But anyway, we'll see you next time on Progressive Discussions. Um, take care of yourself. Exercise safely, <laughs> eat healthy, and we'll see you next time. You know, and all, all, all that wise advice don't drink and drive, don't smoke, blah, 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 blah. All right, we'll see you.